Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you. Today we are in a week 5 so we are going to learn on control valve capacity and sizing. To regulate flow, the flow capacity of the control valve varies from 0 to maximum. Zero uh, valve uh, indicate zero flow indicate that the valve is fully closed, whereby the maximum flow indicate that the valve is fully open. So the flow capacity in a control valve is determined by its uh, capacity factor or flow coefficient, which is the CV. By definition, CV is the flow in US gallon per minute GPM that flow through the valve at pressure drop of 1 PCI across the valve. Fluid flow through the valve can be either in liquid or a gas and vapor form. Hence, a different equation is applied in order to calculate uh, flow for liquid and also flow for gas and vapor. So depicted in the figure is the equation that you are going to learn after this. To determine the flow through the liquid and to, through the valve uh, for liquid form, uh, these are the equation given uh, where uh, F F is the liquid flow in US GPM. Uh, equals to uh, CV. CV is the capacity factor or flow coefficient times square root of delta P. Delta P is the pressure drop across the valve uh, in PSI divided by specific gravity of liquid at flowing condition we say the EGF. Liquid flow through the valve can be in mass flow unit. So you can convert from gallon per minute to the pound per hour by using this formula. W is equal to 500 CV, CV is flow coefficient, uh, times square root of GF, specific gravity, times theta PV. So you can obtain uh, the liquid flow through the valve uh, in mass flow unit, in, which is in uh, pound per hour. Let's try to solve this example. Uh, based on the catalog above or chart above, the 3 inch mesonelian valve with full trim has a capacity factor of 110 GPM per PSI uh, power of half when fully open. The pressure drop across the valve is 10 PSI. Calculate the flow of a liquid uh, solution with density of 0 0.8 gram per cubic centimeter and the density of the water is 1 gram cubic centimeter. Okay, so to solve this equation, you just need to plug in into the uh, equation for flow for a liquid flowing through the valve, which is the F is equals to CV uh, times square root of uh, delta PV divided by GF. So, you will obtain 389 GPM gallon per minute for flow of the liquid through the valve. In mass unit, you can uh, use the formula of 500 times CV square of GF delta PV. So, just plug it into the equation, you will get the mass unit for the liquid, uh, which is the 155,600 pound per hour. That's how you solve this kind of question. To determine the uh, compressible flow gas or vapor uh, through the valve, so these are the equation given. So uh, the equation is at standard condition of 1 atm and 60 degree Fahrenheit. So uh, Fs is the gas flow, gas flow in cubic feet per hour at standard condition of 14.7 PSI A and 60 degree Fahrenheit equals to 836 times CV. CV is, is the coefficient flow, CF is the critical flow factor. So the factor is in the range of 0 0.6 and 0 0.95 
uh, times P1. P1 is the pressure at 5 minutes uh, in PSI A. Uh, divided by square root of GT. What is the GT? G is the gas specific gravity with respect to air. So how do we calculate? Uh, we need to divide the molecular weight of the gas by 29. So what is the 29? 29 is the average molecular weight of the air times the T. T is temperature at 5 minutes. So the unit of uh, temperature is in degree rank kind. So if uh, the unit, uh, the temperature you need to convert from uh, Fahrenheit to Rankine by plus uh, 460 uh, and times y uh, minus 0 0.148 uh, y uh, power of 3 uh, y is uh, expressed as the compressibility effect on the flow so it can be calculate, calculated using below equations which is uh, equals to y is equal to 1.63 divided by cf uh, times square root of delta pv uh, divided by p1 so delta pv delta pv is the pressure drop across the valve divided by p1 p1 is the pressure, uh, pressure at inlet valve all right the compressible flow through the valve uh, can be calculated uh, or to, can be converted into the pound per hour by using this equation. So you need to convert from the uh, flow in square feet per hour to the power mass uh, by times with the uh, average molecular weight of the gas uh, MW, uh, the unit is in pound per pound mole time 1 per mole divided by 380 square feet so this is how you convert from square feet hour to the uh, mass per hour all right try to solve this question so basically this question asks uh, us to calculate or to determine the flow of the gas through the valve so these are the equation a three inch mesodelian valve with full trim has a capacity factor of 110 gpm per psi the power of half and fully open and then the pressure drop across the valve is 10 psi uh, average molecular weight of 35 and the valve in the condition uh, 100 psi g and 100 degree fahrenheit so we need to identify the compressibility factor first, which is the y. y is equal to 1.63 divided by cf uh, times uh, square root of uh, delta pv. Delta pv is the pressure drop and divided by p1. p1 is the pressure at inlet valve. Uh, so uh, the question uh, just plug it into the equation, we have known the pressure drop and also P1, P1 is in 100 psi G. So if you uh, notice that the formula need uh, you to convert from psi G to the psi A. So how do we convert psi G to psi A is by uh, psi G plus 14.7. You will get the pressure, uh, pressure in the valve which is the P1. Alright, so that moves to the uh, flow equation. So flow of the gas equation is equal to 836 times CV, CF. CF also given. So CF is the, uh, CF is the uh, critical flow factor and we take a 0 0.9 uh, as the uh, uh, critical flow factor. Uh, and then uh, P1, P1 is pressure at in the valve divided by square root of GT. G is specific gravity. So how do we obtain the specific gravity? You need to divide the molecular weight by the uh, average molecular weight of the air, which is 29. You will obtain 1.207 uh, and times T, T is the temperature. So remember temperature you need to convert from Fahrenheit to Rankine. So to convert plus 460, you will obtain a temperature in Rankine 560 degree Rankine, and then time the compressibility factor uh, minus 0 0.4148 uh, compressibility factor y uh, power of three.
So just plug in into the equation, you will get the uh, flow of the gas through the valve equals to 187,000 uh, square feet per hour. In order to determine the size of uh, control valve, it determines on the uh, uh, fluid that flow through the valve, whether it is in a liquid and uh, or it uh, compressible flow. So the information that uh, you need to identify first uh, prior to determining the sizing of control valve is for liquid flow through the valve, uh, pressure drop across the valve and also specific gravity of the liquid. Whereby for the compressible flow, uh, some additional uh, information that you need to identi identify in order to determine the sizing, uh, which is uh, the inert pressure and temperature and also the average molecular weight of the fluid. So with all this information, uh, you, you, can, you can determine the size of the control valve for liquid and also the compressible flow. As mentioned earlier, we can determine the size of control valve through the CV flow, which is the flow coefficient. Basically, the CV can be obtained uh, from uh, rearranging the uh, formula of flow. So, if you can see from the equation, the CV is equals to uh, uh, flow through the valve and nominal production rate, uh, what is the nominal production rate uh, or nominal flow? Basically, uh, the nominal flow is obtained from the process steady state design conditions. Uh, time square root of GF, specific gravity of the liquid, div uh, divided by uh, delta P, which is the pressure drop across the valve in PSI units. The, to determine the size of control valve, uh, the valve coefficient must be greater than the one calculated from the equation. So, hence we need the overcapacity factor uh, in order to find the CV max. And uh, afterwards, we will refer the valve size uh, to the Maisonelian valve catalog. So, uh, overcapacity factor is uh, a ratio of the CV max divided by a CV calculated. CV max is the valve coefficient when the valve is fully open uh, and CV is the uh, valve coefficient at nominal flow that has been calculated earlier. Alright, and then uh, the overcapacity factor for 50% overcapacity valve is 1.5 and overcapacity factor for 100% overcapacity is equal to 2. You will need uh, this overcapacity factor in order to find the CV max uh, from the CV calculated. Depicted on the slide is the Mesonilin above catalog, whereby using this catalog, uh, you can determine the valve size based on the CV max uh, calculated. So how do we get a uh, CV max calculated? CV max can be obtained from using the overcapacity factor uh, on the previous slide, uh, whether it is 50% or 100% overcapacity. So first you need to determine the CV, uh, then uh, times with the uh, overcapacity factor to uh, obtain the CV max. Alright, so using the CV max uh, information, uh, you need to you can determine uh, using the Mesonelian above catalog. So as as I mentioned earlier, if uh, the the CV max uh, is fall in between uh, two size, uh, you need to choose the largest si uh, the largest size uh, for your uh, valve size. The example shows uh, on how to calculate the valve size for the liquid service. You need to calculate the CV of a uh, control valve when uh, 480 uh, GPM gallon per minute fluid having a specific gravity of 0 0.85 pass through it. The pressure drop across the control valve is 15 psi. Uh, and you need to determine the size of the control valve for 50% overcapacity. 
So if you refer to this uh, question, uh, given is the flow of the fluid in uh, GPM gallon per minute. So you need to rearrange the uh, equation uh, which is F is equal to CV times square root of delta PV pressure drop uh, divided by specific gravity GF. You need to rearrange the equation in order to find the CV. And after you have uh, calculated the CV, uh, you can determine the CV max by time with the uh, overcapacity factor. So overcapacity factor for 50% is equal to 1.5. And then after you find uh, you calculate the CV max, you may refer to Meson-Neyland uh, valve catalog. From there, you can determine the size uh, of the valve. If the size uh, the CV max calculated uh, falls in between two value, you need to uh, choose the largest uh, value for the valve size. Let's try to solve this example. A control valve is to regulate the flow of steam into a distillation column reboiler with a design nominal flow of 16,100 uh, pound per hour. The supply steam is saturated at 20 psig. Uh, you need to determine the size uh, of the control valve for a pressure drop of 5 psi and 100% of the capacity. So for this kind of question, we know that the uh, type of fluid uh, flowing through the valve is the steam or compressible fluid. Uh, so you need to use the uh, formula uh, to calculate the uh, CV of the fluid uh, for the for the gas. Uh, then if you, uh, after you have uh, calculated the CV. You can determine the valve size based on the uh, overcapacity factor. So, for hundred percent of overcapacity, uh, fact the overcapacity factor is equal to two. To solve <coughs> to solve this question, uh, you need to find the compressibility effects, which is the y. Uh, the formula of y is equal to one point six three divided by C F. <clears throat> CF is the critical flow factor times square root of uh, delta PV divided by uh, P1. Delta PV is the pressure drop and P1 is the uh, inlet uh, pressure, pressure at valve inlet. Since uh, the pressure at inlet valve, the unit is in PSIA, so uh, the unit to convert it first uh, so, given inf from the given information, the pressure at the inlet valve is equal to 20. So, convert it into PSIA unit, you will get 34.7. And then, you will get the compressibility effect, effect is equal to 0 0.705. Rearrange the equation to find the flow for compressible flow through the valve. And then uh, you will get uh, in uh, square root for uh, square feet per hour, which is 30, 340,000 square feet uh, per hour. Rearrange the equation, you will get the CV, uh, which is the uh, co coefficient factor. Uh, equal to 440 GPM per uh, square root of uh, PSI. So, uh, the question did mention that you need to find the uh, valve uh, size for 100% of the capacity. So, uh, CV max is equal to uh, to the overcapacity factor is equal to 2 times the CV calculated. We get the 880 GPM per uh, square of PSI. Then from here, you can determine the uh, of, uh, the valve size according to Mesonilian valve catalog. So using this ca uh, catalog, you have calculate the CV max. CV max is uh, 880. So if you can, if you refer to this uh, catalog, you will see 
880 is fall in between 640 and also 1000. So as uh, been mentioned earlier, you need to choose the largest size of the uh, the largest size of the valve, which is in this case it is 10 inch. So your valve size is 10 inch. Uh, you might want to try this exercise. Uh, control valve is used to regulate the flow of steam. The nominal flow of the steam is uh, 180,000 square feet per hour. The valve condition are 100 PSIG and 60 degree Fahrenheit. And the outlet pressure is 80 PSIG. Uh, size the control valve for determine the size of the control valve for 100% of the capacity. Steam uh, molecular weight is given, which is, is 18, and the uh, uh, critical flow factor is given as uh, 0 0.8. There are several issues uh, on the control valve need uh, to be addressed first. Uh, so, uh, the first thing is the uh, what uh, makes the control valve linear, equal percentage or quick opening, a quick opening control valve. And then uh, we look into the uh, several phenomena that has caused a serious problem in control valve, which is the flashing and also the cavitation. So basically, uh, the element that uh, determine the uh, control valve characteristic is the amount of flow produced uh, with respect to steady increment in stem uh, travel. So the amount of flow uh, has determined whether uh, the valve is in linear, linear when the stem position uh, proportionally to the uh, valve characteristic and also uh, quick opening and control valve characteristic that has been explained in previous class. Flashing and cavitation had caused a serious problem in control valve. Uh, so basically, flashing is uh, concerned because it emits flow through the control valve and the liquid vapor mixture is highly erosive. Metal erosion caused by flashing is smooth and shiny in appearance as you can see from the left hand side figure. As destructive as flashing is control valve, the cavitation is even worse. When vapor bubbles recondense into liquid, they often do asymmetrically. One side of the bubble collapsing before the rest of the bubble. Cavitation damage is most prominent inside the seat where almost all the damage is in the form of pitting. So what is the pitting? You may refer to the uh, right hand side figure. So basically the fit, uh, pitting is a small hole uh, formed in the valve caused by the uh, cavitation event. Sustained cavitation also has the detrimental effect of accelerating corrosion in certain process services. Because bare metal surfaces are highly reactive uh, with many chemical fluids but become more resistant to further attack when a thin layer of reacted metal on the surface acts as a sort of chemical barrier. As fluid passing through a control valve, it experiences changes in velocity as it enters the narrow constriction uh, of the valve trim whereby it caused the increasing in velocity and then it enters the widening area of the valve body downstream of the trim and it has caused a de uh, decreasing in velocity. So if the fluid being throttled and the pressure at the vena contracta is less than the vapor pressure of the liquid at the flowing temperature, uh, the liquid will spontaneously boil. So this phenomenon known as the flashing. So what is cavitation? Cavitation uh, happens when the pressure recovers to a point greater than the vapor pressure of the liquid and the vapor will recondense back into the liquid again. So by definition, uh, this is how the flashing and cavitation has been determined. 
Now we move to the control valve. How do we identify the gain and also the transfer function? Uh, gain by definition is the uh, change in output divided by the change in the input. So what is the output? The output of the valve is flow uh, whereby the input of the valve is the controller output signal which is in percentage uh, controller output. So KV uh, uh, gain can be expressed as KV. KV is equal to DF changes of flow. Uh, the unit is in GPM divided by uh, changes in uh, control output DM uh, and the, uh, the unit is in percent, uh, percent control output alright so uh, basically uh, the valve gain can be obtained from three term uh, whether it is dependence of the valve position uh, which is the VP on the control output and then depend, uh, dependence on the flow coefficient which is the CB on the valve position and finally, the dependence of the flow on the flow coefficient, which is the CV. So, KV can be expressed as DVP divided by DM, or DCV divided by DVP, or DF divided by DCV. The control valve gain and transfer function for dependence of the valve position on the controller output. Uh, this is the equation. Uh, where simply the conversion of person con percent control output to fraction of position. So if, if, if you can see from the equation, the VP uh, dependence of the uh, valve position uh, divided by dm is the control output uh, 1 over 100. Uh, 1 over 100. So, in the fraction of valve position, divided by the percent, percent of the controller output. So, positive sign uh, indicates that the valve is fail closed, which is air to open. And negative sign for the valve uh, should indicate the valve fails open, which is air to close. For the control valve gain and transfer function, dependence of the flow coefficient. Uh, is given as follows uh, linear character divided into two which is the linear characteristic and equal percentage so for linear characteristic the equation given as follows uh, is dcv divided by the vp for position is equal to cv max whereby for the equal foot percentage uh, dcv uh, divided by dvp equal to ln alpha cv max alpha to the power of vp minus 1 equals to ln alpha cv for the control valve gain and transfer function uh, dependence of the flow on the flow coefficient uh, it depends on the liquid surface where uh, the equation as follows constant valve pressure drop and different uh, df over dcv equals to square root of delta pv divided by gf uh, whereby for var variable valve pressure drop df divided by dcv equals to 1 plus kl cv the power of 2 uh, the power of minus 3 over 2 times square root of delta p naught divided by uh, gf to find the gain for the valve uh, for a constant valve uh, pressure drop for a linear characteristic, uh, the equation uh, is given as follows. So, KV is equals to uh, 1 per 100 times CV max uh, times square root of delta PV pressure drop divided by GF uh, specific gravity. Whereby, for the uh, gain, uh, valve gain for the equal percentage characteristic, uh, KV is equals to uh, 1 per 100 times ln alpha times square root of delta PV divided by GF or equal to ln alpha divided by 100 times F uh, 
and the unit is in GP amper percent percent control output whereby for the mass flow uh, gain uh, ln alpha time uh, mass flow divided by 100 and the unit is in pound uh, per hour divided by control the output so now if uh, before this, it is the variable graph pressure drop uh, graph gain. So now we are uh, look at the variable graph uh, pressure drop to find the graph gain for clinic characteristic. The you uh, the formula is given as uh, follows: Kv is equal to one divided by hundred times Cv max uh, times one plus uh, Kl times uh, Cv to the power of uh, negative 3 over 2 times square root of the delta p naught in the valve pressure divided by specific gravity gf whereby the valve gain for equal percentage characteristic for the variable valve pressure drop uh, the formula given is as follows kv is equal to ln alpha divided by 100 F uh, flow of the fluid uh, through the valve divided by 1 plus KL uh, times CV uh, power of 2 uh, the power of minus uh, 3 over 2 and the unit is in GBM gallon per hour per percent control output. We try to solve this question uh, to find the valve gain with given uh, condition. Cv max is equal to 2000. Cv is equal to 500. Density of the liquid is equal to 800 kilogram per cubic meter. And then the inlet pressure given is equal to 100 psig. Uh, whereby the outlet pressure is equal to 80 psig. And the alpha, which is the range ability parameter, is equal to 50. So you will ask to consider uh, to calculate the valve gain, both uh, valve with linear characteristic and equal percentage valve. Uh, to solve this kind of equation, in order to find the gain of the valve, you need to determine the correct, correct equation. So the correct equation for this question is the most suitable one is the constant valve pressure drop. Uh, whereby uh, you need you will ask to uh, calculate both for linear characteristic and equal percentage. And the equation for the linear characteristic is given as follow: Kv is equal to one divided by hundred times Cv max times square root of delta P V. Delta P V is the pressure drop and divided by GF. GF is the specific gravity. So CV max, the information of CV max is given, same goes to the CV. <coughs> and also, uh, the specific, specific gravity cannot be found. Uh, it's not given, the information is given, but the density of the liquid is given. So you can find from there, specific gravity is equal, for the liquid is uh, 800 divided by 1000. 1000 is spe uh, density of the water. Uh, you will get this specific the specific gravity is equal to 0 0.8 and then the pressure drop is uh, not given from the information but you can find the uh, pressure drop uh, by uh, deduct in that uh, to the outlet pressure but uh, from the question the information given the pressure is not in PSIA hence you need to convert it first to the PSIA all right how to convert it uh, to PSIA by uh, uh, sum with 14.7 for both inlet and outlet pressure and so you will get the pressure drop pressure drop is equal to 20 psia so from there you can find it into the equation and you get the gain for linear characteristic is equal to 100 proceed with the equal percentage the formula for equal percentage is equal to 1 divided by 100 uh, ln, uh, times ln alpha cv uh, times square root of data pv divided by uh, gf okay so the range ability factor was given uh, which is the 50 uh, plug in into the equation you will get uh, gain uh, valve uh, for the equal percentage equal to 97.8 point eight.
Now we move to the transfer function. So how do we uh, write down the transfer function for uh, valve? Uh, if you refer to the equation uh, given, uh, the equation is GVS. GVS, yeah, it is uh, stated that this is the uh, transfer function for the valve is equal to KV. KV is the valve gain. Yeah, uh, you have uh, learned how to calculate the valve gain and the unit whether it is in GPM per percent CO or pound, pound per hour percent CO. So, uh, percent CO is percent control output or square feet hour per uh, percent CO. Uh, and then divide by TV. TV is the time constant of valve actuator and the unit is in S. And then time S uh, plus 1. So this is how you uh, draw a block diagram for a valve. And also how do you write down the transfer function for the valve. Now we proceed with uh, question number 2. Using the valve gain obtained in question 1. Uh, you were asked to write down the transfer function of the valve uh, with a given time constant. Uh, which is 0 0.3 minute and then uh, you need to draw a block diagram of the buff. Referring to question number 1, uh, you were asked to find the um, uh, valve gain for both a linear characteristic and equal percentage characteristic. Hence, you need to draw a block diagram for both uh, characteristic, linear and equal percentage and also the uh, write down the transfer function. So, the general transfer function equation for the valve is equal to GVS divided by gain uh, KV divided by uh, time constant uh, of the actuator, actuator uh, plus 1. That is the general equation for the uh, transfer function for the valve. So, uh, the block diagram must uh, include the uh, input. Uh, input is the controller output MS. Uh, you should you uh, you should draw the unit also percent CO, and then the output of the uh, valve is the flow, uh, which is the unit is in whether it's GPM square feet uh, hour or pound per hour, alright. And then uh, write down write down the transfer function inside the block. Okay. So, uh, we know that uh, the uh, gain for linear characteristic is equal to 100. So, 100 divided by 18. If you notice here, uh, the question given, uh, the, the information given from question 2, uh, the time constant is uh, 0 0.3 minute. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, uh, the unit for the time constant of the valve actuator in seconds. So, you need to convert uh, 0 0.3 times 60. You will get the 18 seconds. That's why you get 18 seconds plus 1. So, uh, this is the uh, uh, information uh, on how to write down the uh, transfer function as well as uh, draw the uh, block diagram. Same goes to the equal percentage characteristic. Uh, the gain of the valve is equal to 97.8 and time constant is also same uh, with the linear characteristic which is uh, convert 0 0.3 minute to second times 60. You will get 18 second plus 1. So you need to draw uh, as well uh, the arrow input and output as well and also you need to label and uh, <clears throat> uh, and then uh, write down the unit of input and output uh, so this is how you solve the equation if the equation asks you to draw uh, a block diagram and also write down the transfer function of the uh, certain unit in the uh, control process Recap on what we have learned today, uh, basically we learn first uh, how to determine the valve size. So how do we find the valve size is uh, by first we need to identify the flow. Uh, flow uh, can be uh, divided whether it is a fluid or a gas or vapor. So flow can be found uh, whether uh, the unit is in GPM. 
uh, or uh, in mass flow you need to uh, do a conversion if it is in mass flow <coughs> uh, and then uh, fast forward we uh, find the cv uh, calculated CV. So how do we find the CV? CV can be find by re and range the flow formula, and then uh, after uh, CV has been calculated uh, to determine the valve size, you need to time with the uh, overcapacity factor in order to obtain the CV max, uh, and then uh, CV max. Uh, after you found the CV max, you can refer to the Mazonilan catalog. Yeah, and if the CV maximum falls in between two different buff size, you need to select a larger, uh, a larger buff. Then uh, we proceed with the issues of the control valve. Uh, the con uh, the some of the issues that has been uh, explained before is the flushing and also cavitation. Uh, both uh, event or phenomenon has caused uh, serious. Uh, effect to the valve if uh, it is not being prevented and then uh, move forward <clears throat> we learn how to calculate the gain uh, the gain the, the, the gain uh, is equals to the uh, output output is the flow divided by the uh, input input is the percent of control output for the valve <clears throat> Uh, and then uh, we know that uh, in order to obtain the uh, valve gain, uh, it has been uh, dependent on three terms. The, the, the three term is the valve position. Valve position we have uh, whether it is a linear characteristic or equal, uh, equal percentage. And then uh, flow coefficient depends on the valve position. And then the flow on flow uh, coefficient, which is depend on the flow coefficient, whether it is in cost, it is a constant valve pressure drop, or it is a variable valve uh, pressure drop. And then we learn how to uh, write down the transfer function. So the general equation for the transfer function uh, is equal to kV. kV is the gain that you have calculated earlier. Divided by TVS, TV is the time constant in uh, second, the unit is in second, time S plus 1. So that is the general uh, equation for this transfer function. And then you learn how to draw a block diagram. So block di diagram uh, is a box with input and output uh, arrow. So you need to uh, state what is the input. So for valve, uh, the input is the controller output uh, and the output is the flow. Uh, and uh, in the center of the box, you need to write down the transfer function. So transfer function of the valve is kV divided by TVS plus 1. So uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, should you have uh, any inquiries, do refer to your lecturer. Thank you and have a good day.